Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, Switzerland, where we've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by José Ulysses de Pina Correa e Silva, who is the Prime Minister of the Republic of Cabo Verde. Prime Minister, welcome to the studio. Thank you for the invitation. I'm happy to be here. It's our great pleasure, I can assure you. Now, in an article that appeared in ITU News in December 2020, actually, you were quoted as saying, through the concept of digital democratization, we hope to make internet access an essential right. Uh, Prime Minister, I wanted to ask you, could you tell us about some of Cabo Verde's major and most recent digital transformations and uh, or ICT milestones? Uh, access uh, to the internet is very important for, for, for us. Uh, about 8% of the uh, population of Cabo Verde have this access. And uh, this number is to uh, explain how Cabo Verde invests in the internet and how the connectivity is very important for us because we are islands. We have uh, most of our population uh, lives abroad, more than the resident uh, population. And we need to connect. Families need to connect uh, with the uh, families in the abroad. In the United States, we have most of Cabo Cab Verde living there. And uh, for the economy, is very, very important. For the service, is very important. Uh, we declare internet has a good essen essential good uh, and for that, we introduce some incentives uh, to promote uh, more the, the use with a uh, good price for the, the users. And how is that going? Is it going successfully for you? Uh, it's going, going well uh, because it's not just the number of uh, the users of the Internet. It's uh, uh, what the Internet is important for the companies, uh, for the public administration, for the citizens for the good service, for the education, health, uh, transportation, tourism, all the sectors uh, need uh, good s digital system. For the energy, all the activities, uh, it's uh, linked to the internet and to the digital uh, transformation now. Now, Cabo Verde also geographically is in a very good position, a, a state-of-the-art optical platform which has been offering a secure, high-capacity connectivity and low latency, linking the major terrestrial and subsea hubs in Europe and Latin America. The Ellerlink uh, is now running through Cabo Verde. And Cabo Verde is also, I, I, I read, has approved a legislation that creates and regulates a new special economic zone for technologies called ZEET, uh, which is located in the Digital Islands Technological Park. I wanted to ask you, uh, what do you think will be the major opportunities and challenges for digital transformation in your country over the rest of the current decade? Uh, it's a, a need and it's an approach for the next future. Uh, we need to be more uh, resilient, to diversify our uh, economy behind the tourism. We need digital economy, we need blue economy, uh, we need uh, an agriculture uh, more intelligent and uh, and a smart industry. And in all these sectors, we need digital transformation, digital uh, support. And uh, we create this uh, special zone, economic uh, technology uh, special zone, uh, to promote it, to attract investors. Uh, because it's a zone that we have good uh, fiscal incentives, uh, financial uh, incentives, and you can uh, create uh, all the opportunity to develop uh, your business. Uh, while in phase to conclude two technical parks, uh, one in Praia, another in São Vicente. We have a good system in, uh, uh, in data center in Praia and another backup in, in, in São Vicente uh, to position Cabo Verde as a platform, as a hub in digital economy in Africa and uh, in our region, in the Atlantic, uh, Middle uh, Atlantic. And uh, it will transform Cabo Verde uh, because we need to be, we are small and we need to be very, very efficient. And we need the connectivities uh, with the islands and uh, with the rest of, of the world. And uh, for that is uh, a, a good opportunity uh, to diversify the economy, to be more efficient, and to provide uh, quality of service for the citizens, uh, for the companies, and for the all organization that uh, works in, in Cabo Verde and with uh, Cabo Verde. So there we are, an open call for, for investment and, and for companies to come to Cabo Verde and, uh, and really set up base there in this digital island archipelago. Yes, and to, to attract uh, 
investors uh, from diaspora uh, yes, because indeed. we have uh, Cape Verde well positioned in the uh, companies in the United States in the in the uh, Europe uh, countries and to attract uh, in, uh, foreign investors uh, we look forward to see uh, brands like uh, Facebook or like uh, uh, Google or others uh, can uh, uh, have opportunity to do business in Cabo Verde because uh, we have stability, good governance, and a good location. And uh, we are investing in the infrastructure, uh, te te telecommunication, and internet to be competitive. And for that, we need these uh, investors in Cabo Verde. Absolutely, I've never visited, but I've heard nothing but praise. I have to say, for uh, on all all accounts that you've just mentioned there, I'm um, invited to go. Uh, yes, <laughs> I look forward to it. Now, I, as you're no doubt aware, the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference, uh, which is held every four years, is coming up uh, uh, this this very September in uh, on the 26th of September to the 14th of October in Bucharest in Romania. I wanted to ask you, what are the key outcomes that you hope to see from this landmark conference, uh, and how do you think that ITU should evolve to meet the needs of the digital age? Uh, first, uh, I want to participate, uh, I think, in a delegation uh, to participate because we need to be present. Uh, second, for us, uh, digital and ICT, it's a, a key instrument to do the good and fast tra tra transformation. And uh, in Africa, we need to grow. Uh, and special uh, approach to the seeds, uh, small islands in development, uh, development, uh, developing states. Uh, they are very, have specificities, and uh, we need uh, to present the seeds as a uh, reference to have a special approach, uh, sp special instrument for the financing, and uh, islands that can develop very fast. And, uh, to develop fast, we need more and more investment in digital, digital transformation, digital opportunities, and to transform some ideas that uh, the counts uh, are rich because they have natural and uh, mineral resource. So uh, natural and mineral resource can, can help, uh, but to, to transform the country, we need to transform this resource in the education, the health, and the uh, employment and well-being for the country, the innovation in the technology. And uh, f for that, uh, we need this support of the uh, ICT. Uh, we, we say in Cabo Verde, because in Cabo Verde we have the problem f with the regularity of the rain. But for the ICT, we don't need rain. We need talent, we need infrastructure, we need good telecommunication, and we need stability. Uh, to attract uh, good, uh, good investment and you, you need good connectivities. Let's hope that uh, you'll be singing in the rain digitally uh, and, uh, and very much in terms of investment as well. But thank you so much, Prime Minister, for taking the time out of your very busy schedule, I'm sure, to join us in the ITU studio today. It's been a great pleasure to have you in the studio. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you.